Pat, first thing, you, you talked about it a little bit toward the end there as far as going towards Tulsa and what you guys, you know, from the scouting report, what they're going to bring. What do you think is the most important thing, and especially what you're telling your guys to prepare for this game? Well, we always, it's really about ourselves. It is. I think football, you, maybe most sports you play against an opponent, but it's really a battle against yourself and your preparation and your anxiety level and your ability to really be your personal best. And I think for us, that's what it's about. We've got to play clean and take care of the football and do all those boring things that sports people hate and uh, take care of the ball. Don't take sacks, play clean, be effective, be efficient, and then see where it goes. Um, and so we, you know, we, there's a lot we have to find out about ourselves, not just, not just Tulsa, about ourselves as well. How important and how much do you think this will be a test for you guys as you enter the season? Well, it'll be big. They're a very good football team. Um, and we know we've, we've opened up the last few years and played Stanford and Cal and San Diego State. And, and now we go to Tulsa. So it'll be another test for us. Uh, as far as the quarterback situation, you mentioned Hunter was, was, was your star. You're going with, uh, with him. You know, can you just talk about what went into that decision and why you feel? Well, I, the guy is super competitive. I think the guys really rally around him. Um, he's got a, He's a quiet person, but he's super competitive. Um, and I think he really connects with the guys, and he, they, they view him as our leader right now. And when you have someone like Yolanda in the backfield, obviously that, uh, you know, that if anything just increases the power here. You know, as you look ahead, you know, what is that, what is that, you know, what do you think he'll bring and how that will uh, further boost this team this year? Well, Lonzi's he's really special. He's, he's extremely talented, but it's, it's hard to, he is so tough and such a hard worker. Um, he does not say a lot. Um, but his work says a lot. And I think, again, he helps elevate our club that way. He's just so darn tough, works hard. He's extremely talented. He's got some shake. He can catch a football um, and really a glue guy. Really, it's, he's one of our captains. And one of my last things, obviously, you guys play in a competitive division. You guys are ranked at the top 25 coming into this season. You know, what is, uh, you know, I want to be sound cliche here, um, but, you know, really, what is the, uh, the, the glue and the goal, the objective of this team as you head into? Well, obviously, you're trying to compete for championship, and obviously, you want to be in the playoffs. I think that, you know, again, though, it's about just it's playing our best ball. It's, it's playing clean ball. It's, it's coaching our best. It's being the best version of ourselves. And hey, if we can do that, you, you can live with it. But if you show up one Saturday and you don't coach like you want to and we don't play like we want to, then that's a little bit of a disappointment. But uh, we're certainly capable of good things and we want to have those good things happen and we want to represent UC Davis in a championship manner and, and you know, make some waves in the playoffs. But uh, that's, that's a day-to-day -day, uh, mastering of the fundamentals. Coach Hawkins, you, guys, you talked about you know, the spring football earlier and just what that meant for you guys. That came at a very interesting time where you know you had some people in the stands, and now hopefully you got a sold out, sold out crowd for you guys when you do play home games. Um, just how much are you looking forward to seeing that element back in? Well, so much of college football, as you guys know, it's not just a game; it's an event. It's alums, it's faculty, it's the community, it's the families. It's a it's a rallying point and a rally cry, and it's it's a kind of a spiritual happening that way. So that's one of the beauties of college football, the, the band and the trees falling and the little crisp air and, and letting everyone enjoy that. So when you don't get that, it becomes pretty sterile, pretty sterile. And our guys do that every day when you practice with nobody in the stands. But at some point, you kind of like to have your loved ones around and people come and, and have fun and enjoy the entire event. You guys feed off that, right? Oh, sure, sure.